Hey, what's going on, good people? This is Smitty here. Um, this video is going to be talking about how people at 2K Sports can, how, how, like, what would be the next step now, you know, to take this game truly to the next level. Um, because as you can see here, this, uh, you know, I'm going to show some examples here. Um, this is from Versus. Shout out to him. Uh, this is like, you know, because wh when you're using motion capture, you're going to run into all kind of limitations and shortcomings regardless of how well you manage it or how much you develop it or how much you try to troubleshoot. You know, main issues you're going to have is like in his example here with the player not being fully tangible, uh, Quentin Richardson just sliding backwards as this player receives the ball, you know what I'm saying, and the ball gets sucked into his hand on that on the uh bounce pass here but as you can see because because of the animation limitation in the game you're not gonna you, you really won't get to see it fully play out the way that it honestly would with the realistic physical dynamic you know and even when it comes to the type of steel animation that would get played out like if Quentin went for the steel Who's to say that the steel will go out the right way? You know what I mean? And uh, here was another example of where, uh, this is from Brozales, where his player clearly was in position for the board, but yet uh, it goes to Zach Randolph. He's able to get the board over him. And you've seen how the ball got sucked into his hand, number one. But number two, the ball morphs through his player. You know, the ball tangibility as well as the ball being sucked into the hands, as well as, you know, player, the uh, animations being played out, the you know, the time it takes for animations to play out are all things that are shortcomings when you're using um, a motion capture technology. And when it comes to taking, the, taking this game to the next level, I believe that they're going to have to take from the from Batbreaker, honestly, and they're going to have to employ the services of natural motion. Because as you can see here, shout out to BB Highlights and Bonus Man on this, but as you can see, look at how the dynamic physics are being represented here, you know, and this is in the football, but just think about it, just vision it being put into basketball, seeing how crossovers being played out. Everything, you know, from uh, the contact on layups and dunks, you know, making the true midair adjustments, not having some awkward and quirky animation play out, but everything being played relative to the body position of both the, the, the ball handler and the defender. You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the kind of things that are going to help take this game and propel it to the next level, honestly. Um, this would be a perfect example of that. Like, just think, with real-time physics, that ball would have been slapped out. You know, not with real-time, you know, not that real-time physics engine that EA is talking about, but I mean real physics, like the, the euphoria technology. That right there is the real physics right there. Um, making the ball 100% tangible, you know what I'm saying? The ball being fully tangible and also seeing how... You know, D. Rose here had his hand on the ball. He would have slapped the ball away, you know what I'm saying, clearly. And then also at the same time, he would have slapped down Rajon's arm as well because his, his arm would be physically respected now. You know what I mean? Like those are the kind of things that I look for, you know, forward to seeing, you know, and whatever body collision happens. That being played out in full respect, in full representation. <coughs> Excuse me. So those are the things that are going to make this game go to a higher level than where it was at before. You know what I mean? Because the thing is, with what EA is trying to do, is they're trying to bring in a physical dynamic where... Shot, where shots are truly altered in a somewhat real-time fashion, but the technology they're using is just a motion capture technology. It's the same technology that they use for Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed 2. 
You know what I mean? So there's great limitation using that technology. You know what I mean? Like all it is, all it is that they take a, they take the the uh, they take the skeleton, and they program they program the dynamics of the uh, of of the uh, wrist movements and arm movements and leg movements. You know the body movements. So in essence, it's it's basically an enhanced mocap. That's basically what it is. So it gives you the visual of it being a truly dynamic animation being performed, but it really isn't. It's not, you know, everything is not being played out in its realistic form. Physics aren't going to be fully represented and respected in every dynamic because it's because of the limitations of the motion capture, you know what I'm saying, that they're using. So all it is is just an infusion of that. Like it's not gonna be a constantly calculated, you know, real time physical dynamic going on that EA was trying to promote and sell to the people. Now the ball physics, yes, they had on point. And the shot mechanic that they had for the uh NBA Elite, that was awesome. I love that. But they're gonna have to make some adjustments if they're really gonna take that game to a new level and seeing where it is right now where they got them going between studios who knows what's gonna happen there but in terms of getting back to 2k like you see this limitation here players sliding in front of a, in front of the uh, Paul Pierce sliding in front of Darren Williams like that when Darren Williams is clearly the faster player with more agility more speed better ball handling you add that real-time technology to it, Paul Pierce is either going to trip him up because his leg will be right there, or Darren can do a crossover of some sort to try and realistically gain position. Or Paul Pierce can reach around and try and steal the ball. And you will, and the thing is, you'll input the command to steal the ball, but then but uh, Paul would reach around and, re and go for the steal you know, using the internal game logic to perform the move, you know what I'm saying, and giving it that kind of control, like like how you had in Batbreaker, when you had a uh, halfback that would go low and try and give a shoulder charge, you would just input the command to do a tackle, and your defender will dive even lower, you know, just by game logic, and he would dive even lower and try and take out the legs of the you know of the uh ball carrier you know those are the kind of things that are going to be needed if this game expects to truly go to the next level so i just had to put this out there you know what i'm saying uh so yeah i'm gonna call it a wrap on this video you know this is your boy smitty signing out